What's good, Ray Gang, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we're about to get into another weekly vlog. Okay, girls, how are we feeling? How are we feeling today? My vibe, my vibe right now is just living life. What about you? <laughs> no, y'all, I'm turned up. I'm, I'm excited. Today is a good day. So, oh, I hate that. What is that noise? What? Why? Y'all, does y'all's car ever just be like, buzzing or like like what is that clicking sound girl listen where are the girlies with the bald-headed daddies at my daddy took care of every car issue every car scenario every car question i've ever had in my life like my daddy took care of it like i don't understand like i'm not a car girly i don't know how to do anything regarding a car that might be embarrassing for some people it's not for me i just feel like it's not a woman's job personally y'all as you see we are packed and we're heading home to columbus ohio babes i'm cold i'm already cold and, it, and it's you know 80 degrees here in houston i got my little beanie i'm prepared i got my little sweatsuit my chucks let's get it done hello <laughs> do you guys notice anything different so i need to update y'all so much has happened yeah, babe, Mr. Flight. <laughs> okay, let me tell y'all how, how all this unveiled. Okay, so my flight was at 6.45. No, 6.40. I'm like, I'm not checking a bag. I'm not, you know, whatever. And like during that time of day, if you know, then you know, there aren't as many people trying to fly out at like 6 p.m. People are either heavy in the morning or heavy after people get off of work, like evening time. Like, you know, basically I need to be late to the airport by like five something, five o'clock. Like there's not really that many people anyway, you know, have flown in and out of Hobby Airport several times. So I'm like, OK, I'm good. I got this. I'm going to leave my house 
So I live about 20 minutes, like if there's no traffic at all, it's a 20 minute, I would say 18 to 20 minute flat drive from my house to Hobby Airport. But because of rush hour, I was like, okay, we're going to leave like 50 minutes to an hour in advance, period. I ended up leaving, I want to say like 5.15, 5.20. So I'm like, okay, by the time I get there, if it's an hour later, 6.15, like I'm at the airport, like I'm boarding, um... Like, I, I think we start boarding at 6.15 or 6.20. It takes me all of, like, seven minutes. Like, if I put a timer on, literally, like, seven, eight minutes to get, because I have clear to get through security. I'm not checking a bag, like, everything. So I'm like, okay, I'm good, baby, until God humbled me and was like, eh. there was, like, a huge, huge, like, 10-car pileup accident. <sighs> Guys, Hobby Airport took my... No missed flights virginity. <laughs> yeah, they. I have never missed a flight in my life ever, and that was the first time I ever missed a flight. So if you if you can relate, please comment down below. I pull up to the parking spot. Finally, I mustered through all that traffic, all that the the trials and tribulation. I pull up to the parking spot. So the parking spot, for people that don't know, is like a place that you can like basically park your car when you're at the airport. You pay in advance. It's like $5 a day versus like 20 something dollars to park actually in the airport garage. So yeah, I always use the parking spot. This is not an ad. It should be. <laughs> but um, yeah, like that's my tea. So I pull up to the parking spot. If you know that you know, Houston folk in general, Southern folk, they just don't care. They're on their time and their time only. But like there's something specific about the parking spot people at the Houston airport. They are just angry, bitter people. So I pull up and I'm like, hi. Like I scan my reservation. So the thing goes up. I was like, hi, do you have any uh, drivers available? And she was like, oh, he's leaving right now. And I was like, oh, okay. Is there another driver? She's like, no, you're going to have to wait until he gets back. And I could already sense that she just like wanted to like piss me off. And I was just like, okay, choose kindness. And that's why I said, okay, um, is there any way that like you can call him or like ask of somebody else because I'm about to miss my flight? No, no, ma'am, I can't do that. I can't do that because he still has to drop off passengers and then he has to pick them back up and then he has to drop them off and then he will pick you up. I was just like, okay, like I didn't, I, at that point I was just kind of like, okay, that's what you're going to be going back and forth with this lady. Then she's probably going to purposely try to set you up so you can miss this flight. So just choose kindness. So I was just like, okay, wh where do I park? She's like, turn left and you're going to go behind L. I'm like, okay, so I drive, whatever. I get out the car, babes. I start pacing. My car's still on. I start pacing around the car looking like like, if I don't hold you that, no, but, like, literally, I was looking for the drivers. Like, are there any other drivers? So, I see, like, two other trucks. One was empty. One had somebody. Then, all of a sudden, two rows over, I see one flying down. I'm like, bet, bet, bet he's coming to get me. No, babes. He flew down just to go to their little break shack, whatever. Go pee, go eat, whatever. Then, like, three minutes goes by. I'm, like, at this point, like, I can feel the tears forming in my eyes. He gets out of his car, and I was like, hey, <laughs> And if you know me, like, I'm really not that type of person, like, and there's no judgment to those type of people, I'm just really not them. Um, I don't like to put myself in situations like that because I know, like, if it's up to somebody else, like, they will let me down. And so he was like, oh, hey, he gets in his car, he zooms over, picks me up, I was like, I'm so sorry, my flight is about to take off in 15 minutes. And he's like, oh my god, oh my god. Shout out to Lupe because Lupe got your girl from the air, from the parking spot to the airport. It's really not a far distance anyway, but he got me there. If I could have counted to 90 in literally 90 seconds flat. So I'm running. Thank God. Clear was open. Clear took me straight through. Thank God. I was the only person, one person in my security line. I got through. I'm like, cool. I look at my phone. It says 630. The flight takes off at 640 or 645. I'm like, Bet. my gate is like two or three down from like when you first get off the exit and go like down you know like the flat escalator thing i'm like okay cool like we're good we're good we're gucci we're gucci babes as soon as i walk to my gate i'm briskly walking i was jogging at first and i, I was like come down come down you're good you got time yeah like 10 15 minutes babes why does the door shut as soon as i get to my gate 
I was like, no, 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 I immediately go to the desk and I was like, can you please call and say they can let me in? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll call, I'll call. And she's like, hey, we have a passenger. Yeah, I just wanted to know, like, can she get on the plane? Oh, she can't. Okay. At that point, I just felt like, boom, like the whole world was just like... And, and really, it's really not that deep. She put me on the next flight out the next morning, but I was irritated because the next flight out the next morning was at 5 a.m. and had a layover in Atlanta, the worst airport known to man. Um, so I was like, I started crying just because I was like, it was like a frustration cry and I was pissed because it's like, y'all really did wrong. Y'all just shut that door and you know you could let me on. But what it is, is y'all two uh, Southwest airline people is about to get off. And instead of having to work for 30 seconds more just to onboard me or, or you know, whatever, y'all would rather make me miss my fault. But, but whatever. Some people will say, this is my fault. I tried. It, I can't control the Houston traffic. But it was just, it was, it was, yeah, several L's were taken that day. Um, then, which I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. I had my co-worker slash friend meet me at my house I had a call explain the whole thing to her she took the unit off from me because that's the thing I wanted to fly in uh two days ago so that my mom or two nights ago the day that I was filming so that my mom could help take the unit off so I could take it to my aunt for her to make the unit smaller because the girl that the lady that made the U part in the first place she, she's like she made it and made it beautifully, don't get me wrong, but she like made it for her own self to be able to put on. Like nobody else, it's huge. And like, I think I already told y'all this, like when I first uh, had told Sky, like, yeah, I want the U part. I was like, does she need measurements in my head? And she was like, no. And I'm like, I found that odd because everybody has a different head shape. Everybody has a different head size, you know, like whatever, a little bit more comfort in the front or circumference in the back. But, yeah, so it's, like, extremely big. And, like, remember I was, like, showing y'all on one of the vlogs, like, I could, like, lift, like, the hair and, like, the wig was, like, moving up. This one is so much more secure. Um, so, basically, she just, like, closed wefts and, like, sewed it together. Anyway, so my mom said to take that off so I could take it to her and then wake up yesterday morning, get my hair braided down and this sewed in and then come to Skylar to get my leave-out Brazilian blowout because I have not done that in, like, since Miami, not most recent Miami, Miami of late of um, Cinco de Mayo, May. My hair was uh, woo, roots was puffy and everything. Like, and I mean, I I concealed it pretty well, but like still, it was just not giving. So, anyway, that was like my whole plan, baby. The whole plan got shut down. So my friend came over. She cut. She took the um, cut the you part out. I took out my braids, I washed my hair, I blow dried my hair. Um, thankfully, because I had just washed the unit, it was already clean, I didn't have to do anything to that. Um, and then by the time I did all of that, it was like 1 a.m. and my flight was at 5 a.m. Uh, so I had to be up at like 3.45 a.m. because I was like, I for damn sure not missing this flight again. Whatever, whoop de woo had to lay over an ATL. Then I landed in Columbus, Ohio yesterday at like noon so i've been in ohio for like literally 24 hours like in in three hours it'll be 24 hours that i've been in ohio excuse me and i leave tonight like how foolish i already knew it was gonna be a quick turnaround the, tw the turnaround was already gonna be like a 60 hour turnaround like two days and some change but like i did not want it to be this short it's kind of ridiculous but you know what i'd rather pay 375 round trip and not have to pay anything to my best friend to do my hair to you know I like tipped her because like as I should like she's a phenomenal stylist um and then like I tipped my aunt that like did my braid down but like a total everything probably came to like five something 
versus me having to go get new bundles, pay, uh, you know, these waxing ass stylists in Houston that barely even like give you like a clean bust down. Like I, the, the girlies that do like that are doing the hair, like whipping the shit are booked out for like three months. Like I, uh, be for real, be for real. And then at that are charging like $600 for someone like be so for real. Like my aunt literally charges me $50. Sorry. She told me $40. $40 for a whole braid down customization, a tighten the unit from like $40. Mind you, that's not my real aunt. That's not my blood. I call her my aunt just because I'm Nigerian. You know, we call everybody auntie, uncle, whatever. Like she is my mom's friend um, that's been doing my hair for like years. $40. It's just, uh, it's criminal. A anyway, now I've been talking for 13 minutes. I need to rein in, get a grip like this so yeah it's been an eventful 24 hours last night was the first time that i've slept like a proper true good sleep in like two days <laughs> um it was great i slept like a sky's couch uh it was phenomenal we went to this place called amba if you are in the cleveland or northeast ohio area you need to visit amba it's a um, indian restaurant and i um am nigerian and so we cook with a lot of the same spices. A lot of people are like very like finicky when it comes to Indian food. Um, I don't know really why, but I will personally say I haven't had enough um, experiences with Indian food. I think I've had Indian food all like twice. Um, but like my parents love Indian food, like my family, like I, the two, ta two experiences that I've had have been good. I haven't had like a whole buffet of Indian food, but it was like, you know, like chicken tikka, you know, that type of stuff and like the samosas and stuff. But anyway amba spelled amba is in the ohio city area i actually <laughs> used to live in ohio city it was a very nostalgic moment i will say i i love coming to cleveland it's just like oh my god home um but yeah i went to amba it was amazing chef's kiss you need to go we got sky got the lamb um i got the chicken she got the green beans. I got the um, palau, the rice. Ooh, so good. And then we split a shrimp. That's how we ordered it. And girl, we ended up just splitting the whole thing. And I have the leftovers in the back. Okay, Sky don't eat leftovers. So um, anyway, y'all, that is the roundup. I just wanted to give you guys just like tea, let you know what, you know, what happened, what's been going on. Um, it has just been, it has been a time, honey. It has been a time. Let me set y'all back up. Are we feeling the hair? Sorry, ignore this little, you know, I did not sleep with a scarf. I didn't even sleep with it wrapped last night because I'm a goof. And I knocked out, like literally knocked out. We were smoking some hookah, vibing. Her nigga was over. It was just, it was a good night. It was a good night. And yeah. But are we feeling the side part? I just feel like the side part belongs to the fall and the winter. Like, I don't know. The side part gives. It eats. It's get, definitely giving flirty, girly. Like, I see why people be thinking like I'm 23. I get it. I understand. And honestly, the older I get, I'm taking it as a compliment. Like, all my life, I always used to be like, no, like, I'm of age. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, but like, now, <laughs> babes, we're going to go with whatever age you think I am. How about that? Don't ask me my age. What do you think I am? 25? That's fine. That's fine with me. I'm en route. I'm about to get on the road for the next two hours back home to Columbus. And honestly, for the rest of the day, I'm going to just be editing um, my last vlog. And, um, yeah. We have a lot of things going on, y'all. I'm really, really, really serious. I really want to get more consistent, um with my short form content so like uh shorts here on youtube um tiktok and reels like i just like that's where i really thrive it's a lot easier um than like putting out a whole long vlog and it's fun i'm really trying to get back into like my like beauty bag like i love makeup i love skincare i love hair and like i just feel like honestly since my birthday in july i have been on go there have been so many trips so many events so much happening like my move and i'm so grateful for god grateful to god for all the blessings but it's like 
truly when they say too much is given much is expected like I just it's a lot a lot has been going on and now that like I'm finally like I don't even know what I want to call it I'm like in my you know how the, the girls be saying like the something era I feel like I'm in my like homebody era like and it might have to do with like my new space and just like that it feels like a home um but like I'm just in my like I just want to create content and stay stay inside and stay at home like it's different when you know like you have somebody visiting or like when you go out of town but like yeah also ah, I'm so excited to say uh you guys are the only ones that have this information so you see me we see each other okay I finally bit the bullet and I did not go part-time but I significantly decreased my hours as a PA um, okay I won't say significantly basically before I was working anywhere from 13 to 15 shifts I would say 13 to 16 shifts a month I only have to do a minimum of 10 and so starting quarter one of 2024 I went down to my minimum 10 um, and that just made me like I was very nervous when I put in the um, submissions because we have to um, <clears throat> get them approved by like my boss or like my supervisor but I just got the word today that it was approved and I'm so happy just because it's like I love being a PA and I'm so grateful that like God took me on this journey and I'm so grateful that I have the knowledge and the capability to be in the position especially as a black woman to serve others especially you know minorities that are overlooked on an everyday basis we know this right but it started to get to the point that I started to feel a bit overwhelmed um between my day job and between I can't even say my day job because they're both my day, jo my day job, but between being a PA and being a content creator, specifically a YouTuber, um, and then just trying to live life, you know, as a girl in her 20s and just trying to navigate like trips, vacations, family time, girl time, dating, like it was just a lot. And like I felt like I never really had time to just like rest one thing that I missed that I used to do all the time was like it did not matter what was going on one day a week I would just rot away like on my couch and just like watch like Law and Order all day or you know like back when I like had cable like when I was in college and stuff like I would put on what is that on is it on FX I forget what channel but I would watch the marathon all day um, or I would put Grey's Anatomy on Netflix or whatever and like I just miss that now it's like I catch my one episode of suits after I get off of work and then I have to go to bed because I gotta get up the night it's just no and so I just feel so much like happier so like I'll show you guys an example of my schedule so like January basic okay yeah like this isn't a good example because you're gonna get confused so let me go to February like oh my god seeing this just like gives me chills so uh, February ends here. This starts get to go into March. But can you see all of the colored boxes are the days that I work. And all the open boxes are days that I'll have off. Like, what? And, like, to some people, it's probably like, do you work? But, like, you know, thankfully, I am at a point where, like, I get compensated per hour pretty well. And so it just leaves me so much more room. And like the, th the good thing is like I, these are just like my obligatory shifts, like the shifts that I must pick up the shift or sorry, the shifts that I must show up for or the shifts that I am responsible for. If I need to drop them, I would have to reach out to a coworker to get them dropped, you know, type stuff. But like, it just leaves me so much more room to like rest, to create content, to travel. And then like, let's say that there's like three days in a row. Cause I have like a lot of spurts where I'll have like, seven days off like I have literally off the 8th through the 15th 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 that's eight days off in a row um and so like if I want to pick up in that time like let's say I end up not going on a trip or not you know like creating a lot of content and then I'm just like oh I have like four days left I can pick up a shift or two and like I just feel so much more at peace like and like knowing that I have to look forward to this like it I'm like I'm geeked up 
I'm geeked up because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I wanted to quit. I wanted to leave this job. Um, not, not because I'm not, you know, fulfilled, but like there was just like a lot going on, a lot of changes and like a lot of expectations on my end. Um, and like, I am one woman and like, you know, us Nigerians, we have a saying like, my body is not firewood. It's not wood. It's not made of wood. Like I am, I am a living, breathing human being with flesh and emotions and feelings and like a heart and blood that runs through my veins. Like I cannot just like be pulled in so many directions and like have to work and work and work and work and work and then come and do this. And like, I love this. Right. And so it's just like, I'm just happy. I'm really happy. And it's something like good to look forward to for the new year and just, you know, like a fresh reset. I'm also happy. Like I stopped doing so many three in a rows. Um, I don't mind every now and then just to like bang it out because if you do three in a row, then most likely you're going to have like four or five days off. But like sometimes it could be debilitating. Like so now like I did a lot more two in a rows, a couple three in a rows, but like a lot more two in a row. And it's just like, this is nice. This is a good schedule. Um, I took a lot of random like Saturday through Wednesdays off just in case I wanted to do like a spontaneous solo trip or stuff. You know, you know how we get down on this channel, so. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Enough of being Jabber Jaws. I just wanted to update you. I got, I felt like I've had so many things going on that I just wanted to let you know. And I know you guys are probably confused with the beginning of the video and then like, but yeah, just a lot of stuff. But back to what I was saying about TikTok, like I really want to get back on TikTok. Like I love TikTok. I feel like I get the most, um, like the easiest form of communication with y'all on TikTok. Like I, I love reading my comments. I love responding to my comments. DMs are super hard. They're difficult. Um, and I know that sounds so like, ugh, I feel like I'm, I'm above. And it's not that, I promise you. It's just like genuinely like, I'm a busy girl and I do not put post, post notifications on. Or, sorry, I do not put notifications on for Instagram. Like if I did, my phone would be ding, 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 ding all day. So I have it off for everything, comments, DMs, everything. So like, if I'm not on Instagram, I'm not re I, I cannot see your message versus TikTok. It's like, yeah, they have messages on there, but like most people comment. And I love that. Like, if you want to get through to me, babes, comment, like, obviously be respectful, be kind, but like comment, like the girlies that be commenting on my YouTube videos, like y'all have a special place in my heart. I've said that a million times. Like, I love y'all. hi you guys good morning i am back home as you can see and y'all we have so many uh, home updates um it's actually what what's today friday morning before i have work and i'm just up look at all these amazon packages y'all <laughs> i started last night and then i was like i'm i'm literally exhausted like i can't like i need to go to bed so anyway i'm in the process of like putting things together because y'all I don't know if I shared this with you, but I'm hosting a Halloween housewarming party. It's a costume party. There'll be like food, drinks, decorations, hookah. It's just going to be a vibe. And I'm super, super excited. Um, and it's tomorrow. I'm actually working with two uh, Houston local businesses. They reached out and I was like, this is just perfect. So, like I've been wanting to, like I love to host and I've been wanting to like throw something since I moved to Houston but I didn't really know what and I honestly was just trying to like get my feet wet you know and get used to living in Houston and now that I've been here for a year I think it's about time and I just feel like this is the perfect space to host um so yeah I have work I actually need to start getting ready in like 30 minutes so I want to finish up um some things because Howard, the owner of this local owned business, I will put their at on the screen. Um, he's amazing. He does great things. He does a lot of weddings and events. Um, he's going to come over and put this whole place together from top to bottom with like, uh, what's it called? Halloween, Halloween decor. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, the sun sunrise. Hold on. I got to show you all this insane every single time 
I don't even think the camera does it justice. Oof. Anyway, this is what I'm currently building. It's supposed to go above your bathroom, or like the, above your bathroom, above the toilet in your bathroom. And honestly, you guys know, I just placed a big, I just placed a big Amazon order. Y'all know everything that I show y'all will always be linked down below, but this is like really nice. The only thing is I definitely want to mount it to the wall. I don't know if I have, I'll be able to have somebody in time today. That's going to be my goal is to try to find somebody to come out tomorrow morning. So this, but like they just have screws at the end of each piece and you just screw it in. Like. So dope. So easy for a woman like me. Because, baby, I'm sorry. I can read a direction or two, but I am no handyman. Like, <laughs> we leave that to the men. Ouch. Like, I'm going to leave that to my daddy and my husband. Okay? Okay. This is so nice. Okay. This is the last piece right here. Let me get my step ladder. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. All right. Let's go set her up in the bathroom. Also, some other updates. I finally got an olive tree. I need to spread her. That pot, are we, are we seeing this? Bye. The pot I got from Lowe's. I will link her. She's gorgeous. So all the stuff I ordered to like decorate and whatever, I decided I think I want these canvases in here, like one here, one here. We'll see how it turns out. Um, and then I got some curtain, um, curtain rods, curtains, shadow curtains. But let's put this up here. Sit you up here. Oh, I hope it's, oh yes. Okay. So yeah, this 100% needs to be mounted to the wall, like 100%. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, yeah, that's too shaky, but this is perfect. Whoo, hold on. I almost forgot. I have this piece to like make it firm at the bottom. So I'm gonna put this down. Beautiful. I'm happy. <laughs> Hi, good morning. It is the next morning. Um, it is the day of the party, y'all. So last night, I was so excited, I forgot to pick up the vlog camera. Um, because I'm trying to film for like TikTok, whatever, too. But the house looks phenomenal and he's not even done. Uh, I will give you some house updates when we get home. But right now we are en route to go pick up one of my best friends. Her name's Brittany. 
um if you were og og like was here when i had like 100 subscribers then you've met britney in one of like my old vlogs that i like deleted <laughs> forever ago um uh i hate when you get that like white ring around your mouth or like down here from lip gloss anyway she's here so i am trying to pick her up at iah if you are from houston you just know uh the international airport is <laughs> it's a setup it's a trap um but yeah so that's what we're doing and i will touch base with y'all in a little bit when we get home because we have a lot to get done today one moment though <gasps> oh it looks so good <laughs> Uh, do you want to introduce yourself yes. to them? Uh, how you doing? <laughs> she called me in action. Mark. I know. My name is Howard, CEO of Coordinating Miracles. And we're doing this housewarming spooky. He's snapping, y'all. Like, oh my God. So I, I filmed like for TikTok a, a live reaction uh, uh, when I walked in yesterday. Really? I like that you left some lights oh, on yeah, so I can get the vibe. I like it. She better deal with this one of the night now. <laughs> wow, y'all. Just wait till just wait till it's finished. But yeah, how are he getting me together, y'all? I'm super excited. Um, we're doing pretty good on time. He's he's getting us together. <laughs> Stop. So this is gonna be on all the doors. Y'all will see, y'all will see. But like so cute. So cute. Get out of here. Y'all. Okay, so update. I didn't really get to film much today because it's just been like on go. I had to make sure all my packages came in. Uh, some of my friends came into town. I just had a lot going on. But um, I just fi finished my hair. My curls falling out. Um, so I'm going to get in the shower, start doing my makeup and everything like that. And then, yeah, Skylar just landed. My friend Brittany's here. Um, Stephania, like all my Miami friends, they're already here. I'm excited, you guys. And shout out to Howard and Courtney Miracles. Like, y'all are the truth. If you are in the Houston, Texas area, you have an event that you need planned. Um, even if it's just something small at your house, like me, um, something, you know, extravagant, weddings, he does it all. He's so, so, so sweet. Black owned business here locally in Houston, Texas. Tap the link down below in my description box for all of his info. I'll have his Instagram um, tagged on the screen and the link down below to his website. But yeah, y'all. I can't wait for the final review. Stay tuned. Get out of here. The vibes are vibing. The vibes are vibing. Y'all. Yeehaw. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we about to take a shot. Wait, are you are you allowed to drink or you can't drink on the job? <laughs> what? Shut up. Shut up. Bye. No, he, he did his big one. I love it. Y'all Y'all, when I tell you, I am watching this film back and just like, ah, uh, I miss it so much. This was probably one of the most amazing get-togethers I've ever had, been to, anything like that. Um, Howard and Courtney Miracles, thank you, thank you, times a million. So professional, so amazing. The attention to detail, they went above and beyond, okay? I had an amazing time. 
Um, he came ready with his own lights, his own speakers, decor, everything. Also, the food, I'll make sure to put pictures on the screen. Um, all of the food was catered by another Black-owned local business here in Houston, Texas. Um, their at is Elegant Delights by AD. Um, he was an amazing chef. I opted for just like finger food, so charcuterie, wings, uh, you know, the baby shower meatballs. <laughs> And yeah, um, Howard also put together a bunch of um, different types of assorted drinks. And then we also had uh, bottles for shots and it was just such a good time. This is honestly the beginning clips. So in total about, I think 40 to 50 people came to my home, which I didn't think was gonna be a lot, but is a lot <laughs> in an enclosed space. But nonetheless, I had an amazing time. Like I said, please feel free to open up the description box and I might put their information in the comments as well. Both black owned local Houston, Texas businesses. I know for a fact, Coordinating Miracles does travel. He actually just did a wedding in Denver not too long ago. So he does travel. Um, but yeah, feel free to hit them up in the DM. Let them know that Desi sent you and they'll take care of you. Okay. Sunday, happy Sunday. You already know what Sunday means in Houston, Texas. Hey, hey, Kendra, my boo is here. here. Yeah, look, it's so good. Okay, we had a chat in Kirby, y'all. I think I'm gonna try to sneak y'all in my bag. We'll they see. Check, I don't think they check bag. Really? They didn't check my bag when I was the last time. I feel like they didn't either, but I just be scared. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just, just let me in. I said, okay, cool. I'm gonna vlog on my phone. I'm gonna see y'all. It's the body, it's the body. Sometimes they're weird. Y'all, we got Chapman and Kirby. What do you What's the world? I don't taste. I, you did say that last time. Okay. They got you to the head. Like a brown woman. The niggas is coming in now. Yeah. They rolling in slowly but surely. I'm taking attendance. I know that's right. I need to see the one that's six feet and above. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm yeah. Yo! Yo! <laughs> this is my girl. My sister. I am literally like, like this. Locked for life. For life. For life. The aftermath. <laughs> Oh, shoot. The aftermath. The aftermath. Just, just. <clears throat> like, shit's still out from brunch. Like, let's, let's get this together.
goodie. We're just reminiscing on last night's activities. It, it, was, it was interesting. Interesting. Yes, in January for like two weeks. <laughs> and then it goes right back up to like 60s. And then by like March, it's like starts to creep to the 70s. And yeah. So like we don't. Not true seasons like in the Midwest. But yeah, I mean, it gets colder, but like it's not like. Oh, this is fall. This. Are you guys both from Florida? Yeah, yeah. Salt and pepper? Yeah. Yeah. You did that. I was born in New York too, but I never say it. I never say it because I'm like, I was only there until I was five. I'm sorry. I'm a Florida girl. This for um, ham. I just don't really like it. Sorry. Thank you. It's hot. What was that? Oh, you're a pork. Yeah. It was straight, but it just was not giving the vibe of what I, I needed yeah. it to give right here. I'm like, I'm going to try something new. Yeah. Mine's not good. Yeah. 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 My ass every time. I was just telling McKay how funny it was, like, because when we first got there, everyone was, like, sitting and, like, just chilling. And then, like, probably, like, 30 minutes in. Literally. We were all, like... <laughs> it just switched up. And I don't even remember the cross That's over. That's all that shit. Like, how did it... How did it go? Where... Uh, <laughs> Like we were sitting cute, had a couple shots. By, by the time y'all got there, we were already like either three or four in. I think four. And then when y'all came, that was five. As soon as we got there, she was like, she dropped three shots right now. Literally. She definitely did. Yeah. And she remembered. Yes. Because. She kept doing more. She remembered because she said, did y'all take them three shots? Yeah. I remember that. I was dead. I was like, oh. You're not playing. No, she really wasn't. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It has been an insane last 48 hours. Like, I, I don't even, I can't even begin to describe <laughs> all of the things that have happened. Um, it was an amazing weekend, to say the least. If you're watching and you were part of this weekend, I love you. Um, I feel like I did a really good job of portraying everything that happened, but I will give you guys a quick recap. So Saturday was my housewarming party. Um, it was hosted by me, but the entire vision, decor, Everything was done by the one and only Coronary Miracles. Um, they are a black owned business here in Houston, Texas. Um, their CEO is Howard. He is amazing. Customer service, hospitality, feedback, um, vit, like just everything. The, the process was so just like smooth, y'all. Uh, like I, I think I've already said, I will make sure to have his app on the screen, his website in my description box, and how you can reach him to plan your own event. Um, when I tell you, I got so many compliments across the board from like everybody, my guests, um, my family, when I sent them pictures, so many people were just like, wow, like this is how you throw a party, okay? The party was amazing. Everybody had a good time. Um, the vibes were everything. I mean, I'm just over the moon and just ecstatic because if you pay attention, y'all, y'all maybe remember me saying I don't really throw things for myself ever. Um, so this, this made me really feel good. Um, definitely have a special place in my heart and in the memory bank of just this whole experience like I loved it and I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity to do that um, and share such a important milestone in my life with my friends um, so yeah it, it was great um, and then Sunday which was yesterday we ended up going to Chapman and Kirby we got a section and the girlies were outside, okay? It was it was great. Um, I will make sure to post like all like the memories on the screen, like little pictures or videos. Um, 
it was just so much fun and I'm just so just like wow like when if, if, I, if I'm like I'm going to your city I'm coming to your city show me a good time like this weekend is what I need like I planned out two full days for the girlies um you know just so much excitement oh I'm about to tell y'all on Sunday I think as you guys saw before we went to Chapman Kirby we had breakfast here at my house shout out to my best friends Brittany and Skylar for making Brittany made the eggs her eggs are the best eggs I and I stand I stand ten toes on saying that she makes arguably some of the best eggs in the United States of America no cap no kizzy okay um Skylar made the cinnamon rolls, and then I don't know who made the bacon, but um, between the two of them, they made, oh, it was so good. Skylar got the mimosas together. It was just such, like, so so much fun. I had all the girls over. We ate. We talked. We were just chopping it up, and then we all got ready, and we went to hit the club, okay? We went to Chapman and Kirby, so it was fun. It was a good night. Um, it was a really, really, really good night. <laughs> Um, if you know what I'm saying, I got a little too lit, too tired. Um, that's why I'm so happy we Ubered. Everybody made it home safe, knocked out, and then woke up this morning like, ooh, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling last night. So we recharged and we ended up at Snooze, as you guys saw earlier. Um, and then, you know, I said goodbye to Stephanie. That's my baby. I love Steph. Um, and McKay as well and then me and Sky just kind of had our own time for the last few hours I went and um, picked up what is that spot anyway I went and uh, got some things from Target chit chatted for a little bit threw out, uh, took some trash out packed our stuff and then we went to Cafe Leal if you've been here, then you already know about Cafe Leal. You know how I feel about that place. That is Skylar's favorite part of Cleveland. I mean, of, sorry, that is Skylar's favorite part of Houston. Every time she comes, she's like, I must get Cafe Leal at least one time before I leave. So she got her wish. We went, ate at Cafe Leal, and then I took her to the airport. And since I've been back, um, I went and picked up my meal prep. Packed my lunch for tomorrow, um, sat out my work clothes because I work tomorrow, and then um, I just cleaned up. I took apart the hookah. Y'all, I finally got a hookah at the Brib, but I do not plan to smoke that on my own. That is for guests and guests only. Like, when people come over, that'll be the time that I smoke a hookah. I am not, I really don't want to pick up that habit because it's not a good one. I'm running some laundry, if you can't tell from the noise in the background. And, yeah, I'm just... Sitting on the couch, relaxing, enjoying my time. <sighs> but this is such a great weekend, y'all. Anyway, I'm not closing out the vlog. I feel like this this type of like conversation sounds like I'm closing out the vlog. I promise you, I'm not. Um, but I just want to give you a quick recap. So anyway, it's 9.30. Oh, man. I'm going to just chill and watch Suits, y'all. I have not watched Suits in like five days. I'm having withdrawals. Um, also, I'm on like, I'm, I'm on season seven, episode one, I think, which is crazy. Um, please comment down below if you watch Suits. Tell me what part you're on. And also tell me who your favorite character is. My favorite character is my man, my man, my man, Hardy, okay? Um... I don't know. There's just something about. Why did I just forget this man's name? The main character. What is this man's name? Mike. Mike Ross. Mike Ross gets on my last nerves. Like, he's just so hard headed. Like, he means well, but he's just so hard headed. And, like, I hate hard headed people. Um, just like. Yeah. Anyway, besides the point, I'm going to vibe with myself for the next, like, two, three hours, and then I'm going to get in bed by, like, 12.30. Get up at 7.30 for work tomorrow, so, yeah. All right, I love y'all, and I will see you mm, in two days.
Hello. Okay, so it's been a couple days. Um, today, I had actually started off recording. Um, like, I got ready for the gym. I went to the gym, everything. I also got my nails done. Crispy. I did a full set. Like, removed the old acrylic and put a new one on. And, like, I'm so happy that I did. Because if y'all would have seen my nails underneath they were so long and just like gross looking like i'm so happy i did it uh i had her remove them and do a new set i wanted to basically show everything that i've gotten so far from from all the people that attended my housewarming party um even people that couldn't make it just the things that i received like i'm just over the moon ecstatic like People are so, so sweet. And if you did send me anything, I love you. And um, I actually had a few of you guys reach out and ask, um, you know, what my re what my registry or registry, yeah, registry <laughs> was called on Amazon. Hold on, I have something on my camera lens. There we go. And I will um, put that down below in the description box um, if you want to send me anything. It is not obligated, but a lot of you had asked, not a lot, but a few of you had asked, so I said, you know what, I will share it. Let's go over all the things that I received. Uh, some of them, I, don't, I have no idea what's in there. The first thing, I do know because I've already opened them. <clears throat> So, I have a card. It says, Happy Halloween. It says, Wishing you lots of fun and laughter. Congrats on your new home. Love, Cassidy and Chaz. Cassidy is Skylar's cousin who lives here in Houston. She's actually an interior designer. Her and her uh, fiance, they like do so, so many dope things. I mean, just amazing. But anyway, they gave me an Amazon gift card. Love that. Thank you, Cass. Thank you, Chaz. Next card, home sweet home. It's like this. It's cute. Congrats on your happy new place. It says Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3 through 4. Des, congrats on the new home, baby. I I pray that your home is and brings nothing but blessings. I pray that your home is peaceful. I am so proud of you and can't wait to see and celebrate your future accomplishments. Love, Kendra, a.k.a. Kensthetic. If y'all know Miss Kendra, she's so sweet. Genu a genuine soul. Super, super just like uplifting, positive person. Uh, we finally, we've been mutuals for a little while on Instagram and we finally met. I invited her to my party and that was the first time that we met in person. And then we turned up that night and then the night after. Love her. We're actually going to the Butterboy concert together. I invited her. So yeah. And I just love the fact that like, I'm like meeting like my mutuals, um, in real life and like forming genuine friendships out of it. Like. That makes me so happy. If you know me, then you know. <laughs> but anyway, she got me a home goods a gift card, which will be used, okay, expeditiously. So thank you, Miss Kendra. What is this? Honey? Oh, this is one of the gifts. Okay, so I put on my registry um, this gorgeous robe. My friend, Amani, gifted this to me. Thank you, Amani, if you're watching. Um, Amani and I actually went to the same PA school together up in Ohio and now both live here in Houston. What are the odds? But um, she was in the class above me, the grade above me. But um, anyway, it's funny too because when I moved here, um, the job that I started that I'm still working, um, I got her a job with my company. And so it's just such a small world, such, such a full circle moment. Anyway, the robe looks like this. <gasps> oh, she's gorgeous. Look at the lace on the arms. Yes. And the lace at the bottom. Oh my gosh, she's going to eat. So I'm going to put her in the wash. 
for sure so that she's nice and fresh for me when I get back home love this and it comes with the tie I'm like I don't have a satin robe like I have a cotton one waffle knit I don't have a satin one and I just felt like yes like this is a perfect housewarming gift my friend Brittany's sister Alicia who's been one of my longtime friends um, a big sister to me she gifted me something and I believe I remember what it is I think it's a big blanket but the like card or the message says congratulations on your new home love you sis from Alicia perfect oh yeah this is just what I needed I'm sorry but I don't care how many blankets you have, you can never have enough. Enough blankets, throws. There's no end number. You can never have enough. And I feel like a blanket is a perfect, a throw is a perfect gift to put on your own registry, perfect gift to send anybody. Honestly, I feel like it's even a, a perfect gift what is in my nose, bro? I feel like it's a perfect gift, like, all year round. Or all, all, not all year round, girl. It's a perfect gift for all occasions. Uh, birthday, wedding, Christmas, housewarming, like, literally. Hold on, the quality? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get, get into the quality, y'all. What? Oh my goodness. And it's a good size, too. She's going... Wow. Yeah. She's being washed. <laughs> Love. Thank you, Alicia. Next gift. And it's so funny, because I literally was just talking about... So this is from Amani, period, sister snapped, she snapped, she got me three things, I know that's right, period, um, so she got me that silky robe, and then y'all, she got me a big fuzzy robe, y'all, like, I love a good robe, this is like, yes, yes. Also, I don't know if y'all know, this is my first time ever doing like a registry. And I think it's like the best thing since sliced bread because you get to tell people what you want. Um, and there's no, there's no confusion, no confusion. They just hit add to cart and boom, it's there, which I love. Also, I already am on Amazon all the time, so it's like, what's better than being able to get everything that you would have already ordered? And yo, yo, this thing is puffing up. That's how thick and cozy, oh my God, it says woman's plush robe. This material? Honey, honey, oh, it's giving the blanket, wow, 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 no, this is great, the material is A1, y'all, I'm shook, ultra soft, luxurious, easy care, yeah, y'all did that. Y'all did y'all's big one. Pavilia. It's this brand. I'll have everything linked down below, y'all. Don't you worry. Cute. Thank you, mommy. 
And then she also did her extra big one, giving me another blanket, y'all. When I said just five minutes ago, you can never have too many blankets. I meant that. I'm the throw queen. I have like three or four throws just in this living room. And, but I also knew like I was gonna have um, another extra throw in my bedroom right now. And then in the guest, or sorry, the master room once that's furnished. So yeah, you always gotta have one or two blankets in every room, in my opinion. You never know, you never know. Wow, oh yeah, this is beautiful. Look, I'll show y'all up close. Oof. And then the reverse side is like this material. Oh. I'm like over the moon. It's the little things, y'all. Can you tell? <laughs> it's the little things. This is from, I think, Steph. So proud of you, sis. I love watch you grow and reach your goals. May God continue to open doors and guide you. I love you for life, sister, from Stephania. My girl, my girl. So there are these wall lamps that I saw on Amazon that I figured would go really nicely beside the bed. Go on the wall and they like shine down like that. Oh, they're so cute. Thank you, Steph. Love you, girl. These are from Victoria. Gorgeous. So they are these wall sconces. And they Hang on the wall. Like this. And I'm gonna put these beside the entry mirror over there. Thank you, Victoria. I actually met Victoria through one of my mutual friends that I met in college. She lives down here in Houston. Um, she wasn't able to attend the party, but she still sent me something, which is so sweet and so thoughtful of her. Okay, and that's it for all the gifts so far that have come in. I have two PR packages. Get out of here. Replica, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Discover the replica by the fireplace. Ew, I hate pronouncing this. It ew, ew, de toilet 30 10 and 7 ml set as a gift or for yourself to relit relive your favorite winter memories by the fireplace evokes memories of cozy winter evenings next to a crackling fire the snow gently falls on the frosty white landscape as you are lulled by the dancing flames this warm and cozy scent fuses the smoky scent of burning wood with the notes of gayak wood cash maron and clove oil the scent of roasted chestnut is recreated by a blend of chestnut notes and red berries oil. The sweet notes of vanilla reinforces the warm and cozy sensation brought by this fragrance. Like the description alone <coughs> has me excited. Close your eyes, smell this warm woody scent and remember the em enveloping sensation of a fireplace in the midst of winter. Available at Sephora.com, Mason Margiela Fragrances. Wow, thank you Mason Margiela. Oh, this set is so cute. Like this is literally, this would be a perfect set to give somebody. But I've never actually owned this fragrance, so. Sorry. I'm gifting it to myself. Oh, how cute. Ooh, so it comes with three. 
Wow. Y'all. That Mason Margiela, the replica, um, by the fireplace, phenomenal. Wow. It's so rich. Oh my God. I can't wait to put that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to put that thing on. Mm. The last and final package is by a brand called Public Spirit. They reached out to me and they were like, we want to send you some stuff. And I was like, okay, period. So it says Public Spirit, noun, a passion for making your community the best it can be. Love that. Okay, let's see what it's giving. I think they're like body care, maybe, if I remember. Y'all get so many emails, like. A new kind of personal care, emphasis on care. We believe in creating easier pathways to social impact. We start by donating 10% of profits to the cause, causes you care about most but that's just the beginning. Whether you have just a minute or all the time in the world, we're here to help you figure out how to best use it for good, public spirit. It says, I'm thrilled to share with you the public spirit line. We can't wait to hear what you think. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Ali, the founder and CEO. Cute, and it was handwritten. Love that. Their packaging is A1, if I do say so myself. Ooh. Okay. For being a new brand, y'all really did y'all's big one. In my opinion, they sent me full size, y'all. Hand soap, body wash, and body lotion and I love the simple packaging this is my aesthetic this is giving um, a soap asop a soap you know what brand I'm talking about like this is high-end this is luxury here's the body lotion <laughs> I want to smell it so the notes are and this is in Oh, okay, they're a little different in each one. Um, the hand soap is cardamom, violet, and sandalwood. I love all three of those. The lotion is neroli, jasmine, and amberwood. I love all three of those. And the body wash is bergamot, bergamot, muguet, and cedarwood. Love bergamot and cedarwood, never smelled muguet. All right, so let's smell the body wash first. Okay, it's definitely woody, like that cedar wood I can smell. It smells good, it smells crisp. Okay, the hand soap is the cardamom, violet, and sandalwood. Mmm, okay, the, the hand soap so far is my favorite. And the body lotion, neroli, jasmine, and amberwood, I think I might like this the best because of the neroli and jasmine. Hmm. I actually think out of the three, the hand soap might be my favorite. Thank you, Public Spirit. Packaging is A1. These are so cute. Hand soap, lotion. These are going to go perfect on my countertop. Yay! All right, y'all. So I'm going to clean up this mess um, and wind down for bed. Uh, all we have left in this vlog is packing. We are going to Charlotte, y'all. Charlotte, North Carolina. I've never been to Charlotte, North Carolina um, in my adult life. I've been when I was younger because I used to play AAU basketball. If you know that you know, played at Chapel Hill, girl. But um, I've never been to Charlotte like being grown and i hear everybody be talking about charlotte they love charlotte people moving to charlotte people going to turn up in charlotte okay so let's see what charlotte's about if you're from charlotte comment down below let me know what's tea um but that's gonna be in the next vlog but tomorrow night after we get off of work we're gonna pack and i already have some some fits pulled 
I might try them on with y'all. We'll pack up and everything because um, we have a flight the next morning at like 7.45 a.m. So, yeah. Anyway, all right, y'all. Well, I will see you tomorrow. Hello. So, it is... The next day <laughs> um i just got off of work and well not just got off but i had work today and i'm home now i am just curling my hair um, and i'm gonna sleep with it in pins so that i can set the curls in for the most part i like to call these like the foundation curls for the week I'm gonna have like a more in-depth tutorial either on my Instagram or TikTok or both. So if you follow me on there, look out for that type of tutorial. But anyway, so I'm just throwing curls in my head um, and then setting them with the pins uh, overnight. I have to be up literally in like seven hours to head to the airport because we fly to Charlotte tomorrow. Super excited just to see what Charlotte has to offer because I've heard so many people talk about Charlotte and how much they really like it there. This is that and the third. So yeah. Y'all, I don't know if I have said this, but um, my Southern folks will know what I'm about to be talking about. It's kind of embarrassing being from Ohio because we don't have this issue unless you're dirty. But um, basically, y'all, so y'all know that where I live, it's a, well, maybe y'all don't, but it's a new build. There's still construction and whatnot. And I guess in the midst of construction and just like the weather and seasons changing and everything like that, I had my first encounter with a water bug, I guess is what we... What we, us, I'm half Floridian, but us, you know, Southern folk um, call them. Um, another word for them is a palmetto bug. If you're from South Florida, another word for them is a tree or flying roach, AKA a roach. <laughs> but not the roach that y'all are thinking. It's like the, uh, the outdoor, like the big, like la cucaracha, la cucaracha, like the big ones. And I had my first encounter. <laughs> and that shit was scary, baby. Scary. Um, so, like, the only place I've really heard of these type of roaches existing up north. Um, these type, not the dirty roaches. The dirty roaches, they, it don't matter if you live up north, down south. West Coast, East Coast, like, you're dirty, the roaches gonna find you, baby. But no, like, the outdoor roaches, the, the roaches that live outside, like, in the wilderness. Um, I have never heard of them until I moved down south to, to, to Houston. But um, the only ones that I've heard of that were, like, the big, big ones are, like, in New York. And I don't know what that is about, if I'm being completely honest with you. But, um, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> being from up north, we are not used to this shit at all. And so, I remember when I moved in, I was asking one of my neighbors, like, hey, have you had any issues? Like, you know, you just want to know. And they had told me that when they first moved in, they had um, seen a, like, one of the big roaches, like the outdoor ones. Um, but they were like, it's normal, especially in new build properties um also like just down here in houston they can get into your house you walk in the door you don't realize they're in the doorway or they're outside they just walk their flat asses right in um you know and so they were being very reassuring that like it's okay it happens whatever and i have everybody that i've talked to that's from here or from like georgia or like florida they also the same thing, like a, a roach every now and then, an outdoor roach, emphasis on the outdoor. Um, it's normal. 
<clears throat> I know that sounds nuts. If you are not from down south, you're probably, your reaction to what I'm saying right now is probably, your skin is probably itching. You're probably just like mortified. Cause that was me, sis. Anyway, after talking to people, um, it has given me a little bit of reassurance. Like, okay, whew, I was scared. Like, did I have an infestation somewhere? Like, you know, I'm obviously, I know I'm extremely clean. So I knew it wasn't coming from me. I'm like, is it coming from a neighbor? Like what's going on? Um, but anyway, uh, the pest control came. I talked to him and he basically told me the same thing. Like down in like Southern climates, warmer climates, they are inevitable, but you know, um, things to look out for apparently, which I did not know. And the neighbor, I actually cut that story off. He had told me this when I had first moved in, um, they can travel through drains, <laughs> which is just so sick, sickening to me. But, um, so they, t they told me, my neighbor told me and the, uh, pest control confirmed like if you're going out of town if you are um you know going to be gone for a while whenever you leave like shut your drains and i remember there was like a video if i could find it i'll put it on the screen of this lady that lived in nyc and she was like i don't know why i said nyc she lived in new york <laughs> and she was like pov you're going away for the weekend and it was like her shutting all of her shutting all her drains and like the comment section you could clearly tell who understands the south and you know in that situation specifically uh new york city which is obviously not the south it's its own beast but that they have that issue like as a whole new york city um issue but anyway I remember seeing that and I was like, damn, like that's crazy. And here I am living it. And so, yeah, they basically said like, you should always shut your drinks. So when I first moved, I was shutting them. Cause I'm like, oh hell no, roach, like what the hell? But then I'm not even gonna hold you. I did get comfortable because I was not, I did not see one, never had one, whatever. Um, so, you know, I would leave, I would forget to, to close my shit close my drains or whatever so there was one night y'all I had worked at 12 I got off and I'm like uh walk into my kitchen turn the light on and I'm like "Ooh, some spicy noodles sound fire like I was really craving noodles so um I get my pot out <laughs> and I go to get water and out of the corner of my left eye, I see like a black figure. And I'm like, what the hell? And I turn and there is this big ass tree roach or flying roach on my wall. And I'm like, hey, hey, hi. Like, sir, what the, what the hell's going on? I, I need to know. Because at this point, this is your house. Baby, evict me. I, 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 look, I'm packing my stuff as we speak. Like, baby, you got it. This is your shit. This is your shit. Um, he was huge. He was fat. He was a fat one. And I was just like sitting there in disgust. Like, this is not for real. This is, this cannot actually be happening. And it was, it was indeed happening. Um, that was a whole ordeal. I basically was not prepared, didn't have no way to get, y'all know I got them 20 foot ceilings. He was all the way up at the top. I didn't have a pole, I didn't have nothing. Now I got a pole ever since that situation. Um, so I'm prepared, but yeah. So anyway, I'm really praying that this does not turn into a thing, that it was just like, oh, a scraggler. Um, but yeah, the maintenance, I did have maintenance come by and pull forward all my appliances in my kitchen just to make sure there were no holes back there. There were two big ass holes, so they did patch those up. So I don't know what that's going to do necessarily. My hope is that, you know, it, <laughs> it gets, gets that shit together, but 
Girl, we can only hope and pray for the best. So here we are. I just wanted to share that story with y'all because I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. He was taking up real estate for sure. He said, this is my shit. And I was gladly ready to let him take it for free. You ain't gonna pay rent, baby. Like, I respect you. <laughs> That's crazy. I just know that this hair is gonna come out so good tomorrow. I'm gonna take out the pin curls in the morning. And yeah, y'all be seeing me. Y'all see how it comes out anyway in the next vlog. But, um, yeah, so that was interesting. That was my first roach experience. I actually might have the clip because I brought my phone out. So I'm going to put it on the uh, screen. But y'all, what was crazy was it was already crazy enough seeing a big ass roach on your wall. You know, like fat, fat roach. But what was crazier is I was watching him. You know, he was slowly crawling, whatever. Then all of a sudden... That motherfucker goes to cross to a different part of the wall and has the nerve to spread his wings. And when he spread his wings, I promise you, my soul left my body. Like, I was like, yep, yep. It's time to go. It's it's time to go back to Ohio, where I belong. Uh, because absolutely no. Absolutely never. Like, never, never did he think that that was okay. Like, you're spreading your wings. Bruh. What? You're mad. You're tweaking fam. So yeah. Um, <laughs> how that whole thing ended up, basically, um, he crawled to the very ceiling of my uh, living room. Like ceiling, like not on the wall, like on the, the you know, above you type shit. I'm staring at the bro, she's staring at me. I'm like, okay, this, this, I don't know what to do, baby. I started calling exterminators. So they was taking my information, taking my information. And then when they it would get to the point of the address, now they're talking about, oh, we can't come to apartments without you going through your leasing office. It's a liability. We could get sued. God forbid. I'm like, damn. So yeah, no exterminator could come. I had no pole, no nothing. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Everything's closed. So what did I do? Baby, I went to bed. I have work in the morning. <laughs> I shut my door, my bedroom door, and I went to bed and I said, I will attempt to handle this tomorrow. You know, um, it really gave girl math. If I can't see it, it's not real. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I honestly was shaking my boots. I slept so uneasy that night. It wasn't even funny. Um, but like, I mean, I call my dad. I call everybody. I'm like, what do I do in this situation? And we had no alternative. So maybe I went to bed. Get them Z's. Next morning came out. He was going. He said, see ya. Got a blast. And I felt some type of way. I was very hurt because never would you root your ugly head and then just disappear on my ass. But it, it definitely was my fault because baby, you should have killed him at first sight. You gave him a, a clear chance to get away. But I mean, I had no choice anyway. So my dad's like, you need to go get home defense which is like that, that big jug of spray that you spray along baseboards, around the door, around window sills, like all of that basically to prevent uh, roaches, spiders, ants, all of that. Like if they walk in it, they will slowly start to die. It's supposed to last for 365 days, da 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 da. My dad says he sprays it once every six months and you know he sprays it like in our family home so i go i get the home defense so i'm spraying throughout the whole house later on that evening um and then i go to edit at a coffee shop and i was gone for like maybe like three or four hours and when i came back i'm washing my hands in the um kitchen sink and all, all of a sudden, I see on the ground a roach, the roach, the fat one, crawling 
So I don't know if all that spray bombed his ass or what happened, but baby, he came crawling on his knees, <laughs> begging for mercy. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, he was crawling. So then I, I'm not a rope stomper. Personally, I do not stomp from roaches. I spray them to death. So I ran up on his ass. He started trying to do his little one two juke me out type shit. Girl sprayed him, kill, killed him. Um, it took me a minute to really work up the courage to go pick him up. I'm not even gonna hold you, that was scary. But I ended up picking him up and then um, yeah, that was that. So that, that was that whole encounter. It was scary as the F. But, you know, we had to make it do what it does. It's, it's hard out here. Like, I'm literally just a girl. Like, what? Like, where is my husband? Because he should be stomping the roaches, not me, baby. Like, I'm too pretty for this. <laughs> just kidding, but not kidding. So serious. Anyway, that is the, the roach tail. Um, and I'm just paranoid, y'all. Like, if you live down south, please 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 and be kind like i know a lot of people y'all probably watching me from a climate that is you know very mild um and y'all might not have roaches um and, and when i say roaches like i have to stress this to y'all they are not the roaches that y'all think like the dirty the ones associated with filth they're the ones from outside that are like that live in like trees but if you have dealt with that Please let me know um, what what your outcome was. I really don't foresee this being like, I mean, God willing, I don't foresee this being like a huge like, oh my God, I have roaches. Like no, um, but I just I'm scared. Like y'all, I, I really don't know if y'all know. Like I freak, I flip when it comes to bugs. Like I I don't. Me, I, I don't do the bugs. Like, I don't get down with them. They don't get down with me. We have beef. Like, I will really, I will really damn near injure myself trying to fly away, trying to flee from a bug. Like, I just, I don't, no. We don't get down with the bugs. Sorry. Sorry. Not I. Y'all, this is a lot faster than I thought it would be. Unless I'm just talking and it's making the time go past. Okay, it's 11.30. Cool. I, I told myself I really wanted to be in bed by like 12, 12.30. Um, and I have all my stuff laid out. I just want to finalize some fits. Pack up my bag and yeah. Also, y'all, I'm so sorry for the inconsistency. By this point, I should be back consistent on YouTube. Um, cause I think there's a vlog that's going up before this one. Yeah. So it should be consistent, but like, oh my goodness. Can we just talk about the lack of consistency for a minute? Sometimes I get in these ruts when I, when my content doesn't perform well and I have to remind myself, like, it's just a numbers game, babe. It's just the optics, like, but it could, it could be a little frustrated. I ain't gonna hold you when you're used to your content performing a certain way. And then like, I don't know if I'm like shadow band or if if like i don't know what it is but it just sucks when you work so hard and then you feel like damn what's going on why is my why are my videos not being seen like i don't understand so i have all my hair pin curled Doo -doo 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 -doo. i actually never have like looked at it when i've done it so far Oh, it looks good. It looks good. It will fall nicely. They're not like super, super perfect, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna bring my curling iron with me for the wedding. This is like one of my favorite scarves. I believe this is like my mom's that I like stole from her. Like, oh girl, like 10 years ago, like when I was going to college type stuff, when I was in high school. So crazy to think about. I was in college 10 years ago. <gasps> Whoa. That is a crazy concept to wrap my mind around. And I can't get past it. 
I just kind of shove them in there and like, it'll be fine. They will still hold a curl regardless. Yay. Okay, so, oh, okay. love this thing. It carries like my cords, my chargers, batteries, whatever. I'm also gonna put my selfie light in here. I just unclip this. charger MacBook charger I have this little pouch for all my MacBook stuff the USB, I think this is C cords. That'll go over here. Camera batteries. These are all charged. Camera battery charger. Always have to have a butt for something. This will go back here. Mm. Right here. Mm -hmm. This butt actually will be swapped. I put this butt back here. And then this butt will go right here once I zip everything. AirPods, always have to have them. This will go in here. This um, camera battery charger. <laughs> Slide that drawn in here. Yeah. side by side when I zip everything closed. And then lastly, the cord, the other USB cord. I carry all of these because you never know what you're gonna need. Charged or to do. I also have this memory card transfer to the iPhone in case I want to look at um, pictures on my Canon G7X, which I'm also bringing. Wait. Now all I do, as you see, is zip. this and everything is nice and compact love this thing 
Um, this is for my MacBook, and then my MacBook goes in here. So let me organize this thing. I have like planners and notebooks. I'm gonna take these out because really I'm just bringing my MacBook in case I want to edit on the road, which is gonna be necessary. I'm gonna have to, unfortunately. Because I'm very behind on YouTube, yay! laptop case I just got an Etsy that goes in here and all of my electronics are packed up the only thing I have not packed up is y'all on the camera because I'm recording and then this camera so I think I'm going to also bring my like a camera holding pouch um, and that will tie everything together I'm also going to bring this speaker for the hotel, mini speaker. When we like get ready and stuff, we can listen to the tunes. So boom. Okay, let's put her in our travel bag. travel bag I always bring this little pouch that comes in it and this is like stuff that I need on hand like at the airport so I have like gum hand lotion I have a couple tampons a pad pen Chapstick, hand sanitizer, hair tie, and then I'm going to also throw my card holder in here and actually take out my AirPods from here and put them in there. AirPods goes in here. this back up sweet okay always bring a tripod because in case I gotta boost y'all up onto something higher when I'm getting ready I'm prepared and I always have to bring my other tripod hold on This tripod that I use for like the iPhone, in case I want to record TikToks, and content like that. So we have her too. She'll also go in here. Typically, I will put my tripods at the bottom section of this bag. So I'm gonna do ah yeah security I know is gonna open this up but it is what it is okay honestly I might just save it and put these in my carry-on or like in my luggage because I just really don't feel like being stopped for these so I'll put those in my luggage. I lied. <laughs> All right. So now I can pack up this bag. Actually, let me grab my last thing, which is my camera case. Okay. Got just this little pouch. I'm gonna put my Canon G7X in here. And then I will put 
y'all in here once I'm done vlogging tonight. So let's pack this up. So basically this carry-on is all electronics and then stuff that I'll need at the airport quick. Um, that's typically what I always do. It's just easy for me. And boom, electronics tech is done, honey. Okay, let's do Cosmetics, toiletries, I have this, a bag from Amazon. This is the bag, bags, bags mark bag. I don't know, child, there's so many of these on Amazon. Just pick you one, girl. All right. So typically, this is like first aid section. So I have like emergency alcohol pads, band-aids, some scissors this is always hair stuff right here oh i knew i had more clips in this mat in this bag dang i was looking for them anyway this is like hygiene so like um i have some soap face facial wash um deodorant sunscreen moisturizer like my skincare and then this last one is like oral hygiene so like toothbrush uh mouthwash toothpaste floss etc that's how i usually separate them so let's go get i do have to do skincare this morning but i should be okay let me go get my fan because that's crucial i need her too Okay, so the other things, my face moisturizer and serum, I'm leaving out because I'm about to use them this morning, or I'm about to use them, I'm about to use them in the morning, so there's no point in me packing them up, but y'all, this is tea, this Dermalect, like, Bacuchiol Light, I think it's, yeah, Bacuchiol um, Treatment, I use this at night amazing i'm gonna link her down below how my my how team i love y'all um for putting me on this is amazing um so we're gonna have to talk about that at a later date okay honey um i always gotta bring my effeclar duo by la roche posay in case i have any breakouts that'll zap them um or keep them at bay at night I got my topicals, you already know the drill for the hyperpigmentation girlies. I also have some hero patches in here, just like the travel size in case I have a zinger. God forbid, hopefully we don't have that issue. Um, then, put my tampons to the side. Then I have this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Been loving this stuff. Um, and then, like I said, my moisturizer and my fresh essence or whatever serum I will pack after the morning. I have these little sponges that you put under water and they puff up. I'm going to put these on this side just so I don't lose them. Okay. I got all my oral stuff packed, hair, um, let me grab my other, oh, I have it right here, good. So I have like one singular track that I'm gonna glue at the top of my 
current situation um, just because it's grown out and I have like a, a gap. I learned that from a hairstylist and it works beautifully. You just need hair glue. Here is my brush and comb. I love this brush. It's the Ergo brush. This is what happens when your best friend's a hairstylist. She brought this and was like, you can have it. I loved it. Okay. Edge brush, edge control. Headband, another big hair tie in case I need her. Um, and then a small hair tie. Oh, last thing. Bobby pins. Put this in here. And yeah. I'm gonna also pack my curling iron and my hot comb in case I need either one. No point in me bringing a straightener, honestly. I never really wear my hair straight. I only use it to press out my leave out, but I have the hot comb instead. And the hot comb has been doing wonders lately. Makeup. Makeup's already packed up. I packed it up yesterday and she's organized. I'm just gonna throw these two fragrances. I bring these everywhere. They're travel size. These are the Seven Virtues Blackberry Lily. This is like my, my go-to, go-to. Like people smell me and be like, you smell irresistible. I usually will have this on like on the road. And then the Vanilla Woods, they pair good together and they're good on their own. So I'm gonna slide these in here. So we have a fragrance. And yeah, all of my, my foundation, my concealer, lip stuff, all my brushes, my primers, brow stuff, blush, setting spray, fixing spray, powder, bronzer gang's all here the gang is all here sweet all right let's move the clothes here